Hi everybody, Mr. Seward here. We are going to look today at how to set up the printing on the laser printer for any project that we might be making on that. So uh, in this instance, the first thing we need to do is we need to, and this is what we're going to get to uh, in the end. Uh, so what we need to do is go to the little plus sign and say create drawing. So this dialog box is going to pop up and uh, is all you want to do is you want to make sure that you're using an ANSI title block. It could be an ANSI D, could be an ANSI A, uh, ANSI B. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to choose the ANSI D uh, title block. So it's going to bring in this title block and I'm just going to close this right now. I'll close the insert view thing and I'll zoom out just a tiny bit. I'm going to right click on the piece of paper and I'm going to hit sheet properties. Now down here uh, where it says size I'm going to click the little arrow and here is the word custom and I'm going to change the size for this to 22 oops let's see Oh, my caps lock isn't on, or number of I. Okay, I'm going to change this to 22 by 14, and I'll green check mark that. So that is the maximum size that we can print on our laser printer, essentially. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out here to the upper left corner, and I'm going to drag a box down to the lower right, and then I'm just going to press delete and get rid of all that stuff so this is our sheet of paper uh, the laser printer works with PDF files so now onto this sheet of paper we have to place uh, the top view or plan views of whatever it is we're going to be printing here I'm in uh, one of the students folders. Uh, I'm going to take a look. Here's a part. It's the, called the cab. I'll, uh, I'll go back to my drawing here. And I'm just going to use the insert tool. And I'll click the word insert. And uh, let's see. Well, um, bottom bumper dowels, dumping knob. All these parts are pretty plain. Well, I'll start with lower cab, okay? And uh, I'm going to click on that part. And what it does is it's going to attach a view to uh, my cursor. And we want to uh, place these parts so they're spaced out just a little bit. I'm going to come in just a little bit from the edge here. And you want to just look at the preview here of the part to make sure it's the view you want and I'm going to actually click on that one and drop it and then I'll hit escape and that just puts that view on there. Now I'm going to go back to the insert tool here I'll go to insert again I'll find another part um, let's see where's upper cab Here we go, here's upper cab. So I'll click on the upper cab and I'll select that and to bring that out. Okay, and uh, let's say I'm looking at this and I don't particularly like this view for the upper cab. Well, what I can do is I can change my view orientation to top. And I'll bring this up and I'll space that out a little bit and I'm going to hit escape here. So the printer is actually going to print anything that's a black line. Um, that's how you insert the parts into your uh, sheet of uh, paper. Now what you do is you go to the print icon here 
and you are going to select print. You need to print this as a PDF. So it says save as PDF. And then you click the word save. And then you direct it to put it on your H drive. Um, I'm not going to use my H drive here in this case. Um, by the way, the file name, uh, you want to set that to your name. So mine is, uh, and the project's name. So it's my last name. So it's Seward space. Let's just call it my 3D puzzle. And I'll hit enter. Okay. So now in my downloads folder, I'll go to that and show it to you. Maybe. Downloads. Here we go. It is my Seward 3D puzzle. That is the file that we need to take to the printer.